Welcome to Lawfold's Farm, episode 12, with me, Mr. Silly P. I am in the Sammy. Uh, just looking over here at fields 28 and 31. The workers are working really well, but as you can see on 31, those little gaps on the right-hand right -hand side, because it's having to seed at an angle across the field, um, it's leaving bits so i'll go around and do those at the end that's not a problem and the plowing is going well over there so what i was going to do was um not a different job but a similar job sammy's had a wash as well a bit cleaner than it was um now the workers i mean it's it's it's, it's obvious it's, i kind of mentioned it before in different on uh, different videos but on ps4 especially the workers will go north south east west or they'll go diagonal they won't follow field edges and that kind of thing which is a bit irritating but it's one of those things um the other thing as well again this is another one though start of the episode clear a couple of things up uh it keeps doing this help us complete their task they haven't completed their task i'll kind of look in a second um yeah clearing a couple of things up uh i had a comment left a while ago um about um camera sensitivity and how great it was just turn the engine off actually how great it was that the camera sensitivity had been added into fs17 on ps4 um <coughs> which i promptly went in and then and put up um i had a comment then left yesterday i think from the same person uh from mark saying um you've got to turn your, your camera sensitivity up because it's painful watching you in cab turning around to look when you you know and I've, i found when i'm pulling up at junctions to pull out the time it takes to look one way then look the other you know so i just message straight back saying look it's at 100 percent. i'm 100 I'm percent. i don't you know so straight after reading that message i went back onto the game put it all on and realized this and if you know this already then <laughs> I, I didn't i'm an idiot when you go down to camera sensitivity 100% isn't where it stops. I, I literally, because I think it was set on 70 something or 50, was it originally? I can't remember now. I clicked up, got to 100%, brilliant, it's on 100%. Didn't realise you could actually click past 100% all the way up to 300. Didn't know that. So I've had a bit of fiddle around with it and I found that 200 um, actually works pretty well. Um, so what you'll see now when I zoom out, the camera sensitivity i can spin around way way quicker um in cab turning around to look at the vehicle the things behind that i'm hooking up to way way quicker i would imagine when i pull up at junctions looking one way looking the other way it's going to be way way quicker so mark thank you for that uh the fact that it's kind of jogged me to actually have a look when i hadn't done before is brilliant so thank you so what i thought i would do at the moment this is set on sunflower which i don't want it on sunflower i'm going to go into field 27 here and because it's already cultivated this cedar will work on here which is fine although i'm going to have to come back to the forwards a few times because it's a very small cedar i do need to get a bigger one i'm going to put soybean in this field as well i know it's boring it's the same crop as it was before um but for a couple of fields i want to get a bit of soybean in the ground and because this is already cultivated and that one is still in the process of being plowed I can't do anything with that one until it's been cultivated or I use the cedar with the cultivator. So I thought I'd use this one. So first thing I need to do then is set that to soybean and then turn it on the, uh oh, unfold it of course, what an idiot. I thought it seemed incredibly narrow. I mean, it's narrow anyway, it's a small one. Six station cedar, but it's uh Right now, we'll try again, shall we? So what we'll do, just for a second, turn it on. It's already lowered. And away we go. There we go. Fantastic. So, get some soybean in this field as well. This one was a little bit odd the other day when I did the uh, fertilising, only because the shape of it has got a bit of a diagonal at the first bit, and then it's... Uh, it's okay this was another one the worker kept saying the worker has completed their task and they hadn't it just reached it did half the diagonal then decided halfway through the next bit it was going to stop i don't know why it does it unfortunately that's the nature of workers on ps4 um 
that was what I spoke to Frag Dad about this yesterday and um, on the giant standard maps because they're all very kind of squared off they're either square or diagonal um, you can set a worker and it will go no problem at all on the more interesting maps don't get me wrong I love the giants maps really really do um, but the maps that are you know that have different shaped fields at different angles and you know the ones with the lanes and the hedges and the brick walls and you know they're great maps but the workers struggle on them so it, it kind of becomes that do I get the roller out or the sweeper thing um, and square off all my fields which then kind of makes them boring we well, do you just accept the fact you know what on this map yeah some of the work you got to do yourself and you do have to do yourself and that's I said this before on it was either Goldcrest Valley or Chellington it's why I like the contracting because if you do a lot of contracting and the mission using the mission system you get used to having to do these jobs yourself because you can't set a worker when you're doing the mission system and then you get used to doing big fields that take a while and you become more patient and you do then find when you come to do it in your own fields you don't mind you don't mind going around doing the headlands you don't mind you know i'll often go around and um make a rectangle for the worker to work on but you don't mind doing that that's kind of part and parcel of the game that's part and parcel of having an interesting map it being different you know it makes it more fun to do so anyway, I'm going to set work on this, go back and check and see what's going on with the other one, because I'm not quite sure why it's not working. If I zoom out now, I should catch all three workers. There we go. Ploughing in the foreground, left-hand side seeding, right-hand side seeding. Nice. Yeah, for some reason the worker on field 31 had got to the top corner and decided yeah I'm done now actually I'm going to go for a tea break so set him off again and we're away Jimper still working well doing its thing I have to say, I haven't had any issues with setting workers. That said, I haven't used the weeder again, so... Uh, my neck crop. Haven't used the weeder. I'm so lucky I've not got crop destruction on that. We'll be making a real mess of that at the moment. Um, yeah, haven't used the weeder. So oh, next time I use the weeder, we'll see if it has any effect. It could just be that, because I'm kind of using, and I have been using the weeder at stages where you're not supposed to. Um, it's kind of tripping it out and it's not then the workers won't work I don't know maybe maybe not Now, for some unexplained reason, Helper J has decided it doesn't want to work for me anymore. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, it's a bit peculiar. It did the whole field, no problem at all. For some reason, this section, it does one strip, stops and says it's finished. So, uh, yeah, weird. So, I'm going to finish it off myself. I've already been around all the edge and I've cleared up all the little bits that it missed because of the, uh, the direction it was seeding at. So, I'm just going to go around and tidy up a little bit there's a few little bits here and there that it missed which I'm just going to do those very very quickly I know they're tiny little bits it really doesn't matter but and then I'll get back to finishing off the last bit it shouldn't take too long I think I'm going to upgrade to the other, the Vedastat, no, which one is it? No, the one that's seed, fertilizers as well. I think it might be slightly wider, I can't remember now. Right, I'll set the worker again. I'm sure it goes to the end and it'll just stop. But I'm going to keep an eye on it this time. And see why. There 
go. Help at E this time. I'm assuming word has spread about my terrible paying conditions, so people are refusing to work for me now. That's good. Right, cruise control on. Just get this finished. Do it myself. <coughs> Worker on field 27. With the smaller, is it the Cavernland? Cavernland? I think it's Cavernland. Cedar I've got. It's going fine, although the seed is, as per usual, running down way quicker than the fertiliser is. So, um, I probably need to, um, oops, didn't lift it up. Never mind. I will need to fill up the seed, I think, before it finishes that field. But that's fine. Just trying to decide what to do now in field 28 and field 26. Field 26 is the bigger of them all. We've got two fields of wheat here that they'll need doing. So I don't really know whether to put in... I think I've got one that's got canola. Oh, seed rape. Might be that one opposite. Hang on, let me just have a quick look. Field 32, I think, has got all seed rape in it, as has field 29, which is just over the ridge. You can't see it there. So I've got all seed rape in the ground. I've got wheat in the ground. I'm putting soybean in the ground. So maybe some barley in field 26. Maybe. Now, I may have accidentally just turned off uh, or when I clicked the record button I might have hit the wrong button um, in which case the last bit I just did it might not have recorded if it did great if it didn't I finished on field 31 I'm now on field 26 I'm going to put soybean in this one as well I don't want to bore you with that so most of this will be done on screen however I am going to put headland in either end so I've got plenty of turning room for the worker that was rather succinct and to the point. If it did record, I've already said that already, so I'm sorry if I bored you. Mind you, if I've said that already, you won't see this bit, so it doesn't matter. Helper G, <coughs> excuse me, is almost out of uh, seed, down to 88 litres, is it? So when I get to the end of the field, quite fortuitously, right by the gate, so I'll just whiz straight out, refill, come back out, carry on. It's going great guns on here. Just suddenly realised as well, I've gone soybean heavy. Soybean in 31, soybean here in 27, 26 I'm putting soybean in, I meant to put corn in there, just saying thought I could have a big corn field, uh, what I'll do is when I harvest one of the others, actually I've got a field, I might stick corn back in that one, on 28, I might combine 28 and 29 and have one big corn field actually, mm, that might work, plough that in and have one big corn field, mm. interesting, I've started, this has started happening again as well, leaving little bits to the edge of the field. I don't know why it does that. I'll just go around and clean all those up. But oh, actually. Saying so that I was going to refill, wasn't I? Too busy gas bagging. Okay. Does that look like it refilled? Didn't, but... Ah. I won't bother f filling the fertiliser yet, because it goes down way, way slower, so... It's not as important at the moment.
don't tend to use the ridge markers very often. Look at them both sticking up there. I have did it a few times, I think was it on Cold Crest Valley or might have done it on when I was in FS seven uh, FS fifteen. If you're doing in cab, the ridge markers are an absolute lifesaver. Which you would do in real life, you'd be in cab, wouldn't you? You know. Sticking a ridge marker in, then just following it with the little the point on the bonnet is perfect. So uh yeah, but I don't tend to use them very often. That is much quicker mark, isn't it? That wasn't painful at all. <laughs> right, yeah, let's carry on. Go and check on the plow because I'm not quite sure why the plow's not working. Field 28 is ploughed. Um, I've pulled it over, it's just behind the sheds there. It needs washing, as does the tractor. This one needs refilling again. Um, like I say, it's just a small seeder, isn't it? It takes about 600 litres, I think, of seed. What I will do this time, though, is fold the sower, just so I can get in there. It also needs a bit of diesel, too, nothing major. the fertiliser as well. Perfect. Bit of diesel. Excellent. Right, field 26 is coming along great as well. Open that back out again. And off we go. It should. Well, I hope so. It should finish the field on this tank. Should do. So as you can see, pretty filthy. The jet wash is so loud, it's ridiculous. What I'm going to do as well is try the weeder over here on field 31 and on 28 or fertilizer sprayer or whatever. Because if I look on here, growth is all looking good. 31 is growing, 27 is being done and is growing, 26 is being done and is growing. 28 is now ploughed. Now, whether it needs cultivated or not, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But when I look at the soil composition, that's a whole different ballgame. 31 has got first stage in, 26 has got first stage in because that was already cultivated. 27 was already cultivated or whatever state it was in it was it already had the first fertilizing state done so now it's going over with the cedar with the fertilizer it's on its second state so 31 will now need going over 28 
was cultivated and now has been ploughed, but it hasn't got anything on it. So I might try with the weeder. Mm, don't know, because that could cause problems later on. Or I might just whiz over it with the Braidel uh, fertilizer spreader, get a first state on there. And then when I seed it, depending on which seeder I use, uh, or what crop I put in it, will depend what will happen there. So I, I might stick sugar beet in 30, again, just so I've got sugar beet growing ready for when I need it and that can sit as long as it needs to sit. So the fertilizer states are all a bit kind of, yeah, all over the place at the moment. That 26 is a fair size field. I didn't realize how big it was. I should have put corn in it, really should have done, but never mind, next time. Need to find a home for this plow now. It's actually quite big. Oh, what might I do for the time being? Just stick it over here. Because that's say it's quite large. It's just finding a space for it in the other barns. Stick it at the back here. And that's not even the largest one. So okay. Now, shall I try the weeder on field 31? I might do. The other two are carrying on quite happily, the workers on these two fields, so I'll leave them to it. Grab the weeder and give it a go. If it doesn't work, then maybe the fertilizer sprayer, I don't know. Spreader, whichever. Gets okay, incredibly complicated when you've got uh, a few fields on the go. It's quite good actually when you start on Lawfold, how many you start with. You know, some of the maps you start with a field. I remember on Westbridge Hills it was one field, field 16. Uh, I think on, uh, which one is it? Giants Island, 09. I think you only start with three. Uh, so yeah, it's interesting. Let's fog this out and see what it does. It does say first growth stage. I mean, technically it is growing at the moment. Is it changing colour? It is. Okay, right. Will it set a worker though? That's the question. Let's try. It will. Ah, right, okay, that's good news. So, it will set a worker weeding. That's brilliant. If I now check the state of the field, soil composition on field 31. There we go, second state. Brilliant, that's working. I will probably carry on with that. I decided, what with all the excitement of all the fields being done and sorted out, I'd grab the New Holland back from Lawfolds, um, head over to East Law, and check the water, clean the feed area, just very quickly while I'm... It's filling up nicely. Excellent. Well, I have noticed with the camera sensitivity now, I'm everything becomes very blurry and for slur slow down just a little bit, I think. Ever so slightly. Maybe turn it down a notch. Maybe 200 is too high. Who knows? Okay. Bit of water for the sheep. That took a lot, didn't it? Unhitch that. Quick check. Yep. Excellent. Now the feed area. They make a lot of mess really quickly. I've noticed. That's the other thing I've noticed. It's a very uneven feed area. So I'm trying to get the uh, bucket at the right level without it digging into the ground can prove rather tricky, as I'm finding now. Oops, still doesn't want to know. There we go, it's better. Oh, 
Nice to hit the trailer. Excellent. Well, that was loads. <laughs> right, I think what I'm going to do this time, though, is actually bring this out of the field. And stick it to one side. Out of the way. So if it rains, it's just going to get all soggy and, you know, make a mess. Still not straight. Good grief. Right, that'll do. Pop this up and then head back over and check on all the fields. Excellent. So on the list of frustrating occurrences, um, I was part way through um, weeding the worker was working i was over at east law quite happily feeding the sheep and it's already jumped to its first growth stage so i've gone on to the settings and i've turned growth down to slow at the moment only because on two of the fields i'm still seeding and it's growing while i'm seeding problem is now it's reset this field the overlay so i can't see where i've weeded and where i haven't so the problem is now some bits are on their first fertilizing state and I'm going on to the second some bits that I'd already done the second are now registering as third because I'm going over them again because I can't tell which ones are which so if I go into the map it'll make a bit more sense if you can see here down on field 31 if I zoom right in yeah this is the bit now that I'm trying to do but as you can see I wasn't sure quite where I was so I've come over a little bit too far part of this strip is now showing third state the same as this top corner here wasn't finished i finished it but then part of it is now on third state because i went over some i'd already done so now hopefully of course it's not going to turn around the right way it's going to go the opposite direction to where i want it to go i want this direction thank you very much so hopefully now it will carry on and do the correct bit i need <laughs> i hope uh. There we go. Right. Now I need to check the others. So the semi has finished over here on field 27. However, it's left these little... It leaves little bits at the end of... I don't know why it does it. I did some earlier, so just go over and cover those up. It's a minimal amount of seed, in all honesty. And as you can see, it's already started growing part of the field. But weirdly enough, in odd sections parts grown then little bits haven't grown which were quite clearly seeded before the bits i don't know it's a weird old situation so i've set it on slow once the seeding's all done i'll put it probably back to normal maybe fast i don't know depends how quickly i want the crops to grow but they have started on this field luckily though i don't think they've started over there so i'll just go over and do these here I turn it on? Probably not. Right. Turn on the sower. There we go. Um, so, yeah. It's, uh... Oh, I went away to do one job. I've been looking at these fields and going over and over for ages. I drive over with the tractor to do the sheep. I come back and all oh, hell's broken. Oh, it has started to grow in places, hasn't it? That you can see... Never mind. I will sort everything out, tidy this away, fill it up so it's ready for the next job. F 
field. 26 is done. I'm going to refill the cedar. I'm not going to... Oh, I've put that in the way. Oh. I'm not going to do fill 28 yet. I'm going to harvest fill 29 and then probably combine the two. That's kind of what I had in mind. Is that going to let me do that? Yeah, it might do. Not anymore. Right, okay. Just move that tractor out of the way. Um, yeah, as I was saying. Um, and then I'll combine the two. We're going to plough them together. So that'll be... Um, yeah, fill 28. Wrong map. Fill 28 I'll leave. Fill 29 I'll harvest. And I'll combine, combine 28 and 29 together. And probably put corn in that. I'm going to bring the weeder over from fill 31. And take that to 26. Weed to 26. Then weed 27. Because the gr first growth stage is coming through already. So that was going to put them on different fertiliser states. And then... Go from there. It's all rather hectic. Let's move this out of the way. Let's put this in here for the time being. Should we turn that way? Might be easier. It's quite a long one, this, isn't it? Okay, we feel so. Uh, this is going to take 4,000, doesn't it? Probably needs to get a little bit tighter in there. I need to refill some more and it's not registering. Was it 3,100? Is that? I thought it was just four. Okay. Right. Park this up and then decide what I'm going to do next. Weeding is going to be the obvious thing. But that said, that's the end of this episode. Um, we've done seeding, weeding. More seeding, more weeding. <laughs> but the fields are progressing. I've got first growth stage coming through on three fields now, um, which is great. Um, but yeah, another busy one. Um, I will do the harvest, I think, next episode. Harvest on 29, combine 28 and 29 together. Uh, probably a bit of contracting. I did say that in the last one. Next one, probably a bit of contracting too. Um, that's the plan. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you have, give me a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share the video, please be my guest. The weeder is continuing over there. First growth stage on soybean. Whatever you should choose to do, as always. Thanks for watching. <laughs>